Welcome to Baked Lore and More, where the stories are as rich as Houston's hip-hop history and sprinkled with just the right amount of humor to keep you coming back for more. I'm your host, Steph, and today we're diving deep into the heart of Houston. A city that's not just a hub for NASA, but also a launching pad for some of the most groundbreaking contributions to hip-hop culture. From the glittering grills that light up the smiles of hip-hop's elite, to the slow, syrupy beats that have become the city's signature sound, Houston has given us more than just catchy tunes. It's gifted us with a whole new way to experience music. The fabric of Houston's hip-hop scene is woven with tales of resilience, entrepreneurship, and a fiercely independent streak. In a city where the motto might as well be do it yourself or don't do it at all, hip-hop artists have carved out their own paths to success, bypassing traditional industry gatekeepers to connect directly with their fans. In the early days of Houston hip-hop, major record labels weren't rushing to sign local acts. This didn't discourage Houston artists, it inspired them. Figures like Jay Prince, who founded Rap A Lot Records, set the blueprint for independent success. We didn't wait for the industry to come to us. We built our own industry right here. Jay Prince recounted in a memoir highlighted in Music Moguls Monthly. This DIY ethos didn't just create record labels. It fostered a community of artists, producers, and entrepreneurs all working together to elevate Houston hip hop. Houston's hip hop artists often found their initial fame, not through nationwide tours or massive radio hits, but through local shows, community support, and a grassroots approach to marketing. Swisha House, another influential independent label, became a powerhouse by distributing mixtapes at local events, barbershops, and car shows. It was about hitting the streets, getting our music in the hands of the people who really lived it, Michael 5000. Watts shared in an interview with Underground Soundscapes, the independent grind paid off as Houston artists began to gain national recognition in the 2000s. Artists like Mike Jones, Paul Wall, and Slim Thug broke into the mainstream, not by changing their sound to fit popular trends, but by bringing the authentic sound of Houston to the world. Who? Mike Jones. That call and response was more than a catchy hook. It was a declaration of our arrival, Mike Jones explained in a feature for Hip Hop Nation. Today, the independent spirit of Houston's hip-hop scene continues to inspire a new generation of artists who leverage social media and digital platforms to reach global audiences. The blueprint laid down by the legends of Houston taught us that with hard work and a loyal fan base, anything is possible, remarked an up-and-coming Houston rapper in the new wave of hip-hop. The streets of Houston have long echoed with the beats of pioneering hip-hop, but it was the shine from Johnny Dang's grills that caught the eye beyond the Lone Star State. Dang's journey from Vietnam to Houston reads like an epic narrative, filled with determination and dreams of a brighter future. When I first started, it was all about bringing something new to the table, something that represented success and hard work. Dang shared in an interview with Bling Culture magazine. His craftsmanship quickly caught the attention of Paul Wall a local rapper with a vision for a more sparkling representation of success in the hip-hop community. Paul Wall, reflecting on their first meeting, said, Johnny had this aura about him, this dedication to perfection, that just clicked with what I wanted to bring to the game. Their partnership was more than business. It was a mutual respect for each other's craft and a shared vision to innovate within the hip-hop scene. The song Johnny Dang by That Mexican OT serves as a modern homage to the jeweler's impact on the culture. It's more than just a shout out, it's acknowledging how Dang's artistry has become a cornerstone of hip hop identity. That Mexican OT explained in a Hip Hop Herald interview. Dang and Wall's collaboration didn't just popularize grills, it revolutionized how success and style were showcased in the hip hop world. We wanted everyone to feel like a king or queen, to wear their achievements in a way that was unmistakably bold. Dang remarked during a panel at the Global Hip Hop Summit, their influence extended beyond the music, embedding itself in the fabric of hip hop culture and fashion. Houston's hip hop scene has given the world more than just shimmering grills. It's also the birthplace of a revolutionary sound that slowed down the tempo and deepened the bass creating a whole new vibe. 
Chopped and screwed music, pioneered by DJ Screw in the early 90s, turned the fast-paced world of rap on its head, introducing a sound that was as intoxicating as the Houston heat. DJ Screw, born Robert Earl Davis Jr., didn't just create a new style of music, he crafted an auditory experience. It was all about the feel of the music, the way it could take you to another place. DJ Screw once said in an interview with a Deep Sound Waves magazine, using two turntables, he would slow down the tempo of hip hop tracks and then apply record scratching and stop time effects to create a unique sound that mirrored the slow syrupy pace of Houston life. This style wasn't just about music, it was a reflection of the city's lifestyle, particularly the influence of lean or syrup, a codeine-based cough syrup that was popular in the community. Chopped and screwed music mimics that lean-induced high, that feeling of floating through life, explained a music historian in the Culture Chronicle. This connection underscored the genre's deep roots in the local scene, making it a cultural phenomenon as much as a musical innovation. The chopped and screwed sound has influenced a wide range of artists, from Houston's own legends like UGK and Scarface, to international stars like Drake and ALA8P Rocky. You can't talk about modern hip hop without mentioning DJ Screw's impact, noted a prominent DJ in an article for Rhythm and Rhymes Review. The genre's reach demonstrates its universal appeal, transcending regional boundaries and becoming a staple in hip hop playlists worldwide. DJ Screw's untimely death in 2000 left a void in the music world, but his legacy lives on through the screwed up click and a new generation of artists and DJs who continue to innovate within the genre. Screw's technique was a masterpiece of innovation, and we're just adding our own colors to the canvas, shared a rising DJ in a feature for Next Gen Sounds. In the vibrant tapestry of Houston's hip hop scene, modern artists like That Mexican OT and Megan Thee Stallion stand out, embodying the city's legendary hustle spirit and innovative essence. That Mexican OT, known for his dynamic blend of hip hop and regional Mexican sounds, captures the essence of Houston's diverse and resilient culture. His track Johnny Dung is more than an ode to the city's famed jeweler. It symbolizes the lavish dreams and hard fought successes that define Houston's ethos. In every verse, I'm trying to capture the grind, the struggle, and the triumph you find in Houston streets. Johnny Dang isn't just about the bling, it's about what that bling represents, the hustle. That Mexican OT explained in an interview with H-Town Beats Journal. Megan Thee Stallion, with her indomitable confidence and sharp lyrical prowess, serves as a global emblem of Houston's hip hop legacy. Her breakout single Big Ol' Freak and the empowering hit Savage not only showcase her talent, but also the city's significant influence on her artistry and character. I've always said it's that H-Town in me. We're about making a way where there isn't one. My music, whether it's Savage or Hot Girl Summer, it's all about that strength, that Houston attitude, Megan stated during a Spotify podcast on hip hop culture. Tracks like Hot Girl Summer and Body from her album Good News are celebrations of self-assurance and resilience, echoing the qualities instilled by her Houston upbringing. Both artists, through their music and actions, not only advance the legacy of Houston's hip-hop scene, but also redefine it for a new era. Their narratives, filled with nods to their Houston roots, from lyrical shout-outs to visual aesthetics in their videos, capture the city's energy and vibrancy. Beyond their musical contributions, their community engagement in Houston, from educational initiatives to disaster relief efforts, reflects the city's spirit of giving back. This innovative approach to music and branding has influenced the broader hip hop landscape, encouraging artists to embrace and share their unique identities and stories. Together, That Mexican OT and McGann the Stallion continue to carry the torch of Houston's rich musical legacy, inspiring others with their resilience, innovation, and spirit. From the glittering grills of Johnny Dang and Paul Wall, to the chopped and screwed rhythms of DJ Screw, and now to the viral hits of modern Houston icons, the city's hip hop scene continues to evolve while staying true to its roots. The spirit of Houston hip hop is a powerful reminder of what's possible when creativity meets perseverance. 
proving once again that music has the power to inspire, connect, and transform. Until next time, keep your playlists fresh, your spirit resilient, and your heart in Houston. This is Steph, signing off from Baked Lore and More. Stay tuned for more stories baked fresh for your listening pleasure.